fierce valuable stuff. Fierce, fierce value. Well, that for a tuft. Hell is wrong with you. Get out the gate. Thinking that I could have done something, but now I'm left with an empty heart. Good evening, guys. We are on the, a little gathering job with Glenn and Casey. Heading out the field here to get these hoggets from the speech here at the weekend. They're shorn and they're happy out, but they have to be painted and put back to the hill. The All Ireland shearing is tomorrow now in Clonmany. These sheep have to be put away back to the hill because if I don't do it this evening, then it'll not be done for another couple of days. So time to go with it. Come by, come by. Lay down, lay down, lay down. Come on. Shh. Shh. Lay down, right, Casey. Come here, Casey. I'm trying to stop Casey from going in in front of him is a challenge. And I want her to drive them out. I've Glenn out with me as well because he's a good power dog. He's great for moving a bunch. Hi, hey, come on. Hi, hey, come on. Hi. Hey. Shh. Need a bit of power to just oh hey hey come on ha ha Shh. not really wanting to go out hey, here we we'll get them out we just need to Shh. we just need to convince them Shh. Shh. hey hey Shh. Casey, Casey, come, come, Casey, come. Shh, shh. Casey, come here, Casey, come here, Casey, come here. Lie down, Glenn, Glenn, lie down. Shh, come on. Ha, ah, Casey, come here, Casey. Go on. Ah. What the hell is wrong with you? Get out the gate. Shh, hey. Shh, Casey, come on. Shh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Sky, Glenn, sky. Ha, ah, ah. ha. Shh, hey, Casey, come here, Casey. Shh, shh. Casey, come here. Casey, come. Shh. Hey! Hey, Casey, Casey. Finally going. Shh. Hey! Shh. Casey, come on. Shh. Come on. Ha ha! Lay down, lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Dogs are glad to have them in. Get a bunch of these in. We're going to need to get some flatly gates too. Hey! Because I'm not going to be able to get them all in here. We are actually out of paint. We normally nearly always have paint, but don't have any. All we have is a bit of spray. I wouldn't put spray on sheep going to the mountain. Like hardly ever, because it wouldn't stay on for long enough. Spray is more of a short term thing. You need to put paint on them. It's very important when sheep are going back to the mountain that they're well marked. But these will probably be gathered. Most of these are going to be sold in about two months and they'll probably be gathered again in um, about a month's time. So a bit of spray will do for now. Not ideal, but it'll do the job. And then I also have this cordless handpiece of Dad's because a few of them will have to be shorn off. There's a few hand shorn sheep. There was also a blade competition along with the speed shearing. And then, so they'll have to be shorn off. And then there is a few sheep in there that look like they were shorn with hand shears, but they were in fact shorn with electric shears. Not gonna name and shame any <laughs> But it was a speed shear with no judge and it was a bit of crack, so. Um, people were under pressure racing each other and there was a few wads of wool left on. Well, most of this pin sprayed bar um, a few. Like, so you have your hand shorn hobbits there, like this one. And she's clearly done with the hand shears. You can see the lines and there's just like a kind of a growth the wool there and she's just going to look a bit rougher and a bit different from the likes of these ones and i want them that it's only two months it's not like sale is not that far away so i want them to kind of have a relatively even quarter wool like within reason another hand shorn sheep and then you see the likes of that and yeah she's done with electric you would find it hard to believe but she's shown with electric but she is <laughs> well that for a tuft 
That is a fair old tough to one. Kind of trying to draft him here. It's simple. Get out. Get out the gate. Out your mates. What? Back out. Back out. Well. Right, so I got the sprayed ones out eventually. I'm left here with a few hand shorn slash roughly electric shorn sheep. And then there's a few in this pin as well. So I'll pull them out, the remaining ones for shearing out of this pin into that one. Then I'll tighten these up and spray them. And I'll be left with a pin that has to be run off. And then I'll spray those. And then everything will be sprayed. And up on the trailer and away back to the hill. See the like, like of this one now. Like just a lot of wool there under her chin. And that. Like she will grow a fleece, but in two months that's still going to be there. It's still going to be quite nice. But it's around her head too. It looks very. Just looks does not look good at all. She it, even that sort of wool. Even if she's a fully wool sheep, even that wool around her face, it's not really what you want to see. You want like a nice clean sheep that's kind of more bare around there. And even four shows with mule sheep and with other kind of say pedigree sheep and show sheep that you know different sheep from these that you put, put more effort into you'd actually see people and before sales particularly as well to be actually trimming sheep around there to trim the sheep like around the neck and around the uh, face and that because it just makes them look better there's a sheep now and she was shorn with the hand shirt but she is well shorn like look at that like i wouldn't even bother going shearing that off like she is a well clipped sheep compared to the likes of this one I was done with the electric <laughs> and there's just so much tassels and bits around the legs and stuff it's funny isn't it like you can be cleaner with the hand shears and, and neater with the hand shears than you can be with the electric if you it's all about i think the moral of the story is like it's all about the pilot and who's actually doing the thing Don't be little feckers, not ideal. I just want them fairly tight in the pin. I think it's the secret. There's probably people better at spraying than me, I wouldn't be. I don't do a whole pile of spraying the sheep, but I hate the wet. A corn hoggets straight off the mountain, you couldn't get jumpier than them. Hand shears, that's it. Doesn't look like a bad job, but same thing. Put a little quarter wool there, big difference compared to a good electric shorn one. I enlisted a bit of help since. A few disciples joined the cause, they must have felt sorry for me. And we have these half shorn sheep now looking a bit better. Very important to pick this up, it's fierce, valuable stuff. Fierce, fierce, valuable. Look at it. Like white gold, that fluffy white gold. Five cent a kilo. Five cent a kilo. It's the I think it horn wool is the least valuable substance on planet Earth. I think it's either that or dung. I think that's the only thing that's less valuable. Unbelievable state of affairs. Best of stuff too. 
trailer backed in. Get her opened up now. This is back out again. Help me with the loading. Who's a good girl, huh? Who is a good girl? Hi, girls. What? Come on. One deck. Both the space there for them. There'll be plenty of lowland farmers looking at the channel and they'll probably be looking at these sheep and they'd leave no value on them, you know. Little 40, 45 kilo hoggets like they're they nearly mistaken for lambs, but they're good for our job. The wee mayo is good for our job. I'm gonna sell a good few of them. Like not too many hill farmers sell their hoggets. They nearly they keep them all like. But the fact that I myself, my flock's only a small enough flock, so. Um, I'm already at my limit with in terms regards to your numbers. They're light enough at the moment. Um, hopefully they mend in the next couple of months now when we get them shorn. And might get a few pounds for them in the back end of the year. Pay a few bills, keep the wolf from the door. This up, 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 up. It's a lovely sight, and you really only understand it, I think, if you're a sheep farmer, or probably the same with cattle, or dogs, or goldfish, or whatever the hell you're into, but letting them back out, getting them away after doing jobs with them, or anything like that, and just, you know, they're just going away, and they're probably hungry, because they've been in for a couple hours, so, so they just get out, and they're getting a feed, and that's the job done, progress made, sheep are back, and they're eating, and you just, you'd sit and watch them there for five minutes, no problem. It's one of those little satisfying things in farming. It's about half nine now, so I need to get home. Because the All-Ireland sheep shearing is on tomorrow in Clonmany. I have to get the gear sorted and get packed because we'll be going up there for two days. Should be a bit of crack. I'll probably vlog up there too, I'd say. Gonna love you and leave you lads and ladies. Until the next one, good luck. Keep thinking that I could have done something, but now I'm left with an empty heart.